what a view. I can't believe we made it. This is so worth it. Unbelievable. Okay, here we are. Headed out of uh, Ensenada. We've gassed up. We've had lunch. We wrapped up episode one. We're going to continue our journey, hopefully all the way to Kamalu and La Cueva del Parata is where the hotel is, a few miles west of Kamalu. Uh, here we are. What a beautiful sight. Downtown Ensenada. There's the Ensenada sign and the old lighthouse for the uh, old pier. It's a cruise ship over there. A little trip down in the downtown Ensenada. Definitely the tourist section. Ensenada is nice, but I can't wait to get out of here. Coming back here to take a, a little vacation with my wife in a couple weeks. Explore more then. Wow, this is a cool little uh, bridge over the river or inlet, whatever this is. Cool architecture. I see some cool stuff down in Mexico. I'm telling you, it's worth a visit. Thank goodness, we made it. We're out of there. We made it out of Ensenada, and now we're uh, heading out the outskirts toward the more mountainous areas. Uh, it's good to, good to be out of there. Let's get on our way. This must be where they have all the uh, car lights. Okay, looks like we got uh, the old wine country for Baja, which is south of Ensenada. A few older wineries out here, more established area, but less accessible for tourists. These mountains just amazing. I don't know that the camera can, can adequately capture the, the scale of, of this landscape, just how amazingly beautiful it is. It's just incredible the way it opens up before you this valley. Okay, here's the army checkpoint uh, between Ensenada and San Vicente. Usually not stopped uh, on our side, and there's usually no traffic. So it moves. Watch out for the uh, K9. Best to be respectful of the Mexican army at the army checkpoint. here. We'll definitely get stopped uh, at this checkpoint on the way back for sure. Haven't had any issues with any army checkpoints in Mexico so far. You just be respectful, answer their questions, try to speak in Spanish. I think that's helpful. Now look at that line of cars coming the other way. Hope it's not that long when we come back. Wow. Something else. Okay, made it past all the traffic. 
in the uh, coming out of the mountains that lead us into San Vicente and the flatlands with all the farms are. Okay, the lowlands open up before us. All the farms. Okay, here we are entering San Vicente. San Vicente is one of the uh, larger towns, I think, between Ensenada and San Quintin. Uh, I think it used to be sort of a farming hub. Uh, here's some uh, the stripes you see all over on the roads here in Mexico. If you've noticed these before, these are just sort of a warning. Wake up, be alert. There's something new here. There could be cross traffic. Just some reason that you need to be aware. A lot of times you see these uh, like three foot across stripes on the road with X's. That's typically how they mark tope. Now sometimes there really are tope there and sometimes they're just to pick you out I think. But they do their job because uh, tope are the really large um, speed bumps that are usually just before and just after these Mexican towns in Baja. And man, if you don't respect them, you will pay. <laughs> Damage your vehicle if you're on a bike. It will definitely kick you up out of the seat. Uh, they're no joke. And just like that, we get the warning that we're out in the little fake tope there that you saw. And uh, we're on our way out of San Vicente just like that. Great little town, gas station, lots of food, some shopping if you need some whatever, parts, that kind of stuff. This is probably the place around here to get it. And that's pretty much it. Just like that, we're out in the farmlands, the lowlands. This is just hundreds, maybe thousands square miles of the farms and produce areas and see here on the right is just endless greenhouses for miles and, and they go a mile off the road as well. It's just incredible the amount of produce that has to come out. It's really just incredible. Here, I think uh, if we drop down in here, that's definitely Kamalu out ahead in the distance there. I remember this from last trip. Yep, entering uh, Kamalu. We're getting close. Okay, this is our turn. I've noticed this before. It seems like uh, the only paved road that I really ever come across, for the most part after Ensenada, is the Trans Peninsular Highway. Every other road I've seen is dirt. This one seems to be in good shape, but a lot of times they are not maintained at all. Oh wow, we're getting close. This is just freaking incredible. Wow, this is beautiful. I keep my 
eyes on the road here. It's a rough bit of road, but I can't take my eyes off of that bay. Just incredible. Wow. The hotel's gotta be close. Can't be too far. I do know it, it was unfinished. So you can tell the upper level is not finished. But you can't beat the prices. It's less than $30 a night. Okay, battery's about to die. Can I make it inside on the battery I've got? Time will tell. Come on, baby, you can do it. Okay, everybody, we made it to our first stop on the April Baja adventure. I'm here at La Cueva del Prata. We're a couple miles uh, west of Camalú, and we are right on the coast overlooking the bay. Pretty cool location here. Just incredible. Very windy day. So uh, that took its toll a little bit physically, I'm not going to lie. The wind really was uh, blowing there in the mountains, so uh, I'm going to go have a beer. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of day one. Let's go take a look around the hotel, see what's what. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we're here inside La Cueva del Prata. I'm sitting at the bar here. Having a beer, relaxing after that long windy ride to get down here from San Diego, about 200 miles. Really cool place. I just wanted to show you around a little bit. That's pretty sweet. Uh, this looks like it, I've read that this was going to be a resort that didn't quite get finished. And it, it does show there are some unfinished parts outside, but it's really kind of cool. Here's our friendly hostess, Hola Senor. <laughs> but a uh, really nice place. Let's go take a look outside. Okay, looks like the wind calmed down a little bit. Okay, here we are out front. You can see here, it wasn't quite finished off on the top, but the restaurant's here. And then off to the side are the rooms down this little archway. That's where all the rooms are. So we can see the layout of the property here. We're on a little point. There's my bike. Just amazing views here. And we're about 200 miles or so south of San Diego. What an incredible bay. Incredible views. You can tell, a little unfinished, but man, is, is this site just amazing. And I'm the only person I've seen here. I got the whole place to myself. Pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. We'll check in back okay. inside. Should be interesting. I feel a little bit like Nora Lee right now. Um, for security, she said I could park the bike in one of the rooms. So we're going to see if it fits. I'm not sure it's going to fit through the door, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's go. Okay, we're not going to fit. So I'm here with the owner. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so, esta uh, aquí Okay, we're never gonna fit in there, so we're gonna park in front of the room. Gracias por ser sí, 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 sí. Está bien. Gracias por ser ayuda. Okay, let's see how we do this. So we're gonna try to go back by the room. Let's see how this works.
just gonna do it. In the end, this is where we end up. Uh, right in front of the room, right by the window. Again, I'm sorry, I just gotta do this. Man, look at this view. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, internet. That's about it. We're gonna set the bike up uh, with the locks that I have right in front of the room. And this is where she'll sit tonight. So thanks for joining me. If you like this kind of content, please like the video, subscribe if you like more of this kind of content, and uh, hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I post more videos. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you soon.